Ooh, what if I like might go on vacation this year? Whatever. Can't. Uh, <laughs> so many good setting powders. Whoa, the most pigmented blush you've ever used. <coughs> Great. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today's video is all about what is in my travel makeup bag for vacation. But the only thing is, I'm not currently scheduled to go on a vacation, but when summertime hits, I like to think of, ooh, what if I like might go on vacation this year? What makeup would I bring? And sometimes I set it aside and sometimes vacation is a work trip and that doesn't mean that the makeup doesn't have to have a vacation vibe. So I have picked all of my makeup for my vacation travel bag and there's many reasons for each product and I thought it would be fun to go down the list today and maybe give you some ideas for your up up <laughs> upcoming vacations or work trips or family trips or just you got to go somewhere and you still want to look good whatever let's start with the base okay so everything I'm about to mention is the makeup that I have on today. So this would be my ideal travel makeup look because it is quick, it is easy. The only thing that takes a little extra time is lashes, but we'll get into that. The very first thing that is in my travel makeup bag, if you've been watching my recent videos, you know it's coming. The Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette the face sculpting palette, okay? This is not the all-in-one, this is the face sculpting palette. It is so freaking good. You can create your perfect foundation shade, touch-up shade. I use this shade here as my concealer. It's what I have on underneath my eyes as concealer today. It is so beautiful and comforting. What? Comforting, comfortable to wear. It's creamy, but it doesn't slip around in the heat. You can have create your bronzer, your contour, your highlight. These, are, these three shades right here are highlight shades, and so is this one, actually. I just haven't used it yet. It's more of a champagne golden shade. So I love products that are multi-use when I travel because it makes things so easy. When I was younger, I had to have a separate product for every step of the way, and as I get older, I am learning it is so much easier when I travel to have products that do many different things so I don't have to worry about packing things back up or just taking the time, honestly. So the Makeup Forever, HD Skin Contour Sculpting Palette is for sure going to be in my travel bag until I need to repurchase this baby. Next, the highlighter. It's what I have on today. The base product, if my skin's acting up a little dry. My body highlighter, all of it, girl. The Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Fused Skin Enhancer. It's what I have on today for highlight. It is so nice and subtle. There is some shimmer in here, like visible shimmer, but I like that personally. I feel like it gives gives it more of a vacation-y vibe, that little like extra fleck of shimmer. But if you don't like visible shimmer, you probably won't like this, but it does give the skin an extra kind of perfected glow. You can apply this when you're not wearing any coverage products and your face just looks really healthy and kind of happy and just very vacation-y. It also looks great on the collarbones. I do also wanna say it does smell like roses, but look at this glow. It gives you like just like a really nice healthy glow and then it just kind of leaves you with a little bit of shimmer, not too much, but if you do like visible shimmer, you will like this. I really do wish that Kosas would cut out the rose scent because I feel like if you're not someone who enjoys the scent of roses, then you're just not gonna enjoy their products, but it gives you just such a nice subtle glow on your face, on your body and all that. That stuff it looks great on the legs here is the visible shimmer you probably see that left on my fingertips there i personally love the smell i love the smell of roses and my fingertips they're the most glowy of everything well geez Anyway, this is such a great multi-use product. It can be used as a face primer, a highlight. It goes on over coverage products without breaking them up. And it looks great on the body and it doesn't slip and slide. So if you're going somewhere tropical or hot or whatever, it's gonna stay put. So will all these products. And that's another reason why I chose most of these. <coughs> great. The setting powder. I recently tried this. 
and it has just like blown me out of the water. Setting powders, I feel like, are the new skin tint releases this year. So many brands are releasing so many good setting powders, but I feel like the most versatile one that tops them all is the new Jones Road Tinted Face Powder in Translucent. It takes one swipe, sets my concealer. I am a big, avid baker. I love to bake my concealer because my eye, under eyes are dark and have hooded lids, so things tend to slip around. Not with this powder. I don't have to bake with this powder. I literally just use the Jones Road powder brush. Okay, most powder brushes, by the way, are created to actually remove excess powder, not to apply powder. This one is created to apply powder, and I will just literally swirl it on my eyeballs, and boom, my concealer is set under my eyes and on my eyelids because I love to prime my eyes with concealer. I feel like it's the best eyeshadow primer ever. Cancels out any darkness and kind of gives you a clean slate. So yeah, I just, and I'm done, and it looks like I've baked, and everything stays in place, and it's so lightweight, and it makes my skin feel good. I don't feel tightness or dryness or anything like that. I really, really love this formula. <coughs> Great. All right, for blush, this was a no brainer because this blush looks good on bare skin if you decide not to wear any base products and some mascara. And it also looks good over coverage products. It's the blush I have on today. It is the Merit Flush Balm in Persimmon. This gives you such a beautiful sun-kissed flush put it on my hand here. Like, look at this. I mean, you start applying it to your cheeks and you just wanna keep going, you know what I mean? So if you enjoy a very kind of warm, not bronzy blush to give you that sun-kissed look, but almost like the sun has given you a little bit of, a, you know, too much sun and there's also some warmth bronzy elements in there, you'll love the shade Persimmon. And these can be sheared out, you know, or built up for more pigmentation. They are more of a sheer, glowy product. This is not supposed to be like a, whoa, the most pigmented blush you've ever used. It's very specific in its color payoff and finish and look over the day. It is a very natural, subtle look with a little bit of a glow. If that's what you are going for, Persimmon is it. The Merit Flush Balms are probably the best product, in my opinion, that they have created yet. I love, like the 1980 Brow is a daily use product. I love that product. But as far as their color products, the Flush Balms are my absolute favorite. And Persimmon is just a blush that I always end up going to when I pick out a flush balm because it gives me the most pop. I like it with my skin tone. I'm a little bit, you know, I have yellow undertones, so persimmon just gives me that perfect kind of reddish cheek. And it lasts throughout the day. I do not have it layered with any other powdered products. The only powdered area on my face is underneath my eyes. So this is the glow and the effect that the Merit Flush Balms give you. And your hair does not stick to your cheeks, which is, just incredible. Now for eyes, when I am traveling or going on vacation, I really try to limit the amount of color products for my eyes that I bring because I will seriously get like creatively frozen. I'm like, but I brought this eyeshadow palette if I want color and I brought this eyeshadow palette if I wanna be like, you know, really super glam, but then I brought this eyeshadow palette to be like a smoky eye and I don't know what we're doing today and I don't know the schedule and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So. It's <laughs> eye color products are where I freeze and it all of a sudden becomes not that fun. You know what I mean? So I wanna think about, you know, the fun things I'm doing that day or the dinner I'm going to, not necessarily getting frozen by the freaking eye products. So the two eye products I have on, just two, and this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. These two together, oh my God, will be my in my travel bag all summer. Max Paint Pot in Contemplative State is such a unique color. But if you're not familiar with Max Paint Pots, let me just tell you, you can apply them with your fingers. That's another thing. All of these products I've chosen, you can use your fingers if you're in a hurry or you're in the car and you can't bring tools, just use your fingers. It's not my favorite to feel products on my hands, but sometimes that's just the way it is. And these products work well with brushes and with sponges and fingers. So anyway, back to Max Paint Pots. They last so long. They're great as eyeshadow primers, but they are just fine on their own 
as eyeshadows or eyeshadow color, whatever you wanna do. They blend beautifully and they stay put. So if you're in the hot sun or you're on the beach or at the pool, they stay put. They do not crease and they are very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. And I do like to apply paint pots with my fingers, surprisingly enough. This is the shade Contemplative State. It is what I have on all over my eyelids and underneath my lower lash line. It is the only color product that I have on. Well, that's not true. I have the shimmer shade, but this is like the color, you know, this gives me the pop to then just go in quickly with a shimmery type of eye product. Look at this shade. It's bronzy, it's summery, it's matte. So you can do a matte full eye with this and leave it alone, or you can do what I did, grab you a single shadow that is shimmery because it's so fun to have shimmery eyes in summer, hello. The only eyeshadow in my travel bag is the Emma Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow in Wish. It's what I have on in the corner of my eyes and a little bit on my brow bone and in the inner corner, right over Contemplative State. Swatch this right next to Contemplative State. But if you haven't tried the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl eyeshadows, there's nothing like them on the market still. Like since they released, no other powder product gives you this high of shine. It looks like an eye gloss. It's incredible. Wish is my absolute favorite. I own all of them. It's my absolute favorite out of the line. It just gives me the most like versatile type of look that I can get with smoky eyes or with just, if I don't, if I just wanna apply just Wish, it's beautiful on its own. It has enough depth there. The shine is insane. So that's what I have on my eyelids. Every time I wear the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadows, I get asked what I'm wearing. And it's because they just look so, just something's different. They pop. It looks like a cream product, but it's powder, so it stays put. So Wish right over Contemplative State is stunning, but I, you know, when I have two choices, I can go, do I wanna go all matte or do I wanna add shimmer? Or do I just want the shimmer? So that's why I chose these two products to go into my travel bag for the summer. Just gives you a really nice bronzy eye. Just these two, that's all you need. I would be absolutely lying to you if I didn't tell you that I bring lashes with me everywhere I go. There's just something about a strip lash to me forever. I love wearing lashes. Mascaras are great, but when I wanna feel a little extra glam, I love a lash. It's what I have on. I will always have, no matter what time of year, I will always have a pair of Lily Lashes Miami Light lashes in my travel bag period. So these look great even if you don't have any eyeshadow on. They look like lash extensions. So every time I wear these, I get asked, are those lash extensions or is that a strip lash? What lashes are you wearing? If people know what strip lashes are, what lashes are you wearing? And I always tell them it's Lily Lashes Miami Lights because I have a subscription because I can't bear the thought of running out <laughs> of Miami Lights. They are just perfect for my eye shape. Of course, I trim them down. One key to getting a good lash look is trimming your strip lash to match your eye shape. I have a whole tutorial on how I apply lashes, so I will link that in the, in the info below as well. But Lily Lashes Miami Lights will always be in my travel bag because I want that option to have like an extra glam look with a strip lash, whether I'm wearing eyeshadow or not. The mascara that's in my travel makeup bag is the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. And the simple fact is it's because it's a tubing mascara, so it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. So if I'm out in the hot weather, if I'm by a pool, if I'm on the beach, if I'm just, somewhere hot, you know, with hooded lids, it's really hard to find mascaras that don't smudge and flake and things like that. Tubing mascaras are it, girl. Just find you a good tubing mascara. If you don't wanna spend the money on an hourglass mascara, they are more expensive than your average mascara, but they are worth it in my opinion. That's why I have repurchased Hourglass mascaras forever. A cheaper alternative that I know lasts just as well, but isn't as glossy black as Hourglass Unlocked is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara. It's $20. I believe the Unlocked Mascara is 30. So you can save some money that way and still get a good like long lasting lash effect and not have smudging and flaking. Brow products, I just wanna mention cause I don't want people going, hey, like do you not bring brow products? The two brow products that are always in my bag or in my desk drawer are Hourglass Arch Brow 
in Platinum Blonde and Merit Beauty's 1980 Brow in Blonde. It's what I wear in every single one of my videos. This duo is like a permanent staple in my makeup routine. They create the best blonde brows. If you don't have warmth in your brow hairs and you are looking for a really nice, neutral to cool, toned brow look, then these two are wonderful because they do not give you an ashy look and they don't give you like a warm, like your eyebrows are red and your hair is blonde. So I just have to mention it because yes, I bring brow products, but it's nothing exciting, whatever. Okay, lip products. I really try hard to limit myself to one or two lip choices, but the lip choice that is in my travel makeup bag is one that just gives me a really glam kind of nude lip. I love a nude lip. What can I say? It'll never change. So the most neutral glam nude lip that looks good with bronzy kind of vacation-y glowy makeup, in my opinion, is the Tower 28 Multi-Liner in Work of Art. You can if you're in a pinch and you feel like you need an eyeliner, you can clean this off, sharpen it again, and use it as eyeliner. It's eye safe, face safe, mouth safe. So that's wonderful. But work of art looks great on its own. It's a very neutral type of nude, so you can smudge it out on its own. And it's a beautiful matte lip. But if you want something glossy, something glowy, this is a new product to me. I was in Sephora and I was like, oh, by Mario got me. Makeup by Mario got me okay, with this lip product. I haven't tried to suede lipsticks yet because I feel like just they look really gritty, so I just have steered clear. But the new Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors, the packaging is the actual shade inside. This is the shade Soft Nude. It's what I'm wearing today. And the scent of this, I talked about this in a recent video. It's so, there's something comforting about it. It's fruity, but it's like more berry, like rounded out with vanilla, but it's not too strong. And it does dissipate, so it doesn't give you a weird taste or anything. But look at this, look at Soft nude you can see this is the lip combo i have on but look at soft nude next to work of art tell me that isn't the perfect like neutral something's there but it complements your bronzy makeup look lip duo you've ever seen so tower 28 multi-liner and work of art and by mario moisture glow plumping lip color in soft nude stunning together everything i've talked about lasts a long time, okay? But sometimes your vacation days end up actually being longer than your normal days at home or at work or whatever. So I have to throw this in here because I do, even though I preach like you don't need a primer, you don't need a setting spray or whatever. If you're in kind of harsh weather and you feel like your makeup, you don't have time to touch up, you just need like something to revitalize your makeup and set it in place a little better because you've been sweating. The Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18 Hour Wear Long Wear setting spray plus blue light defense. This is so moisturizing and it's like when you spray it on, you immediately feel like, oh, I don't know if I like that. And then all of a sudden it like feels really good and it's soothing and you see like your makeup kind of just like ending up looking better. It does help if you kind of like sweat in some areas and you've noticed some breaking up or something like that and you spray this on and you don't have to press it into the skin. But if you're able to take a beauty blender and press it into the skin, it looks even more amazing and natural. I love this setting spray. It recently launched, I think like a month ago. So I've been trying it out for a good month and I have to report it's really good. I'm not gonna spray it on my face now because I'm doing a foundation review, but I love, 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 love this setting spray. It takes a lot for me to feel like a setting spray does something different, but the Milk Makeup Moisturizing Setting Spray is wonderful as well. I love the, the Hydra Primer, I believe. It's behind me, but that's another one that's really good. There is something about the Too Faced Makeup Insurance Setting Spray. I feel like it gives my makeup even more of like a like a little bit of a soothing, moisturizing, but like blurred effect. Like it's like it kind of creates perfection veil somehow, but I really love this setting spray. So if you have to bring a setting spray, I highly recommend the Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18 Hour Wear Setting Spray for your vacation travel bag. So those are all the products that are in my travel kit for the summer, whether it's vacation, 
or a work trip or a quick road trip or whatever, that's what's in my travel bag. I love picking out products to travel with because it reminds me, first of all, of what I own and second of all, what I feel like I can't live without when it comes down to like having a good time, you know what I mean? So these are absolutely wonderful for lasting, making your face feel comfortable and just giving you a really nice overall glam look. Plus all of these products look great in photography as well as flash photography. So you won't be having any flashback and you'll look great in your photos. They all photograph really, really well. Let us know in the comments what's in your travel bag. Are you going on vacation soon? If you are, please let us know. Maybe we can live through you. What are you bringing with you? What look do you like to create when you're on vacation. Maybe you don't wear makeup at all. Maybe it's just some mascara. Let us know. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy my content so you actually see it in your feed. And subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you in this beautiful, positive community we have created in this online space. Thank you so much for watching. Happy summer, happy vacationing, happy work tripping, whatever you're doing and traveling. And have fun with packing your makeup. I know I did. Okay, goodbye. Whatever.